Hey everyone, I'm doing a few packing today. Um, sold a few things, so today is Monday, doing a big post day. Uh, first of all, I've got some Goliath stick insects. So I've popped them into a rectangular small container. I've misted some paper towel, put that down, put the lid back on, and there's some ventilation holes here, and also ventilation holes up here. So that's them ready to go. There's two going. I've got a leaf in there also for them to eat. So basically all I'll do with these guys is I've got these boxes which I picked up from Bunnings. You just go through their old boxes and these are the ones I picked up. So what I'll do is I'll put some more paper towel down and then I'll pop it in like that. And then I'll put some more paper towel down to make sure it doesn't move. Seal the box up. And I use prepaid satchels, so then it'll go into a prepaid satchel and be posted. Or you can take it straight to the post office and get them, pay for the postage and get them to send like that. So that's how I'm sending those stick insects. What else have I got? All right, I've got a Craspy sling and a Serena sling. They're already packed to go. So all I do from for these guys from here. is give it a bit of sticky tape seal the containers down they're packed in with sphagnum moss so then I pop them into another one of those rectangular containers. Got some paper towel here that I'll just roll and wrap around the container. Pop it in and I'll do the same for the other one. Excuse my sniffling, I'm not feeling the best. Pop one to cover the top. And then pop the lid on. And again, box from Buddings. I'll put the paper towel in to pat it up put it in and just wrap the paper towel around it so it's secure and seal the box. Pretty easy. Um, jumping spider next. So this is jumping spider is in here. Now these can be quite difficult because they're very fast and very little. So I've just got another one of those containers like the tarantula slings. Alright. I'm going to encourage this guy in. There he is. In you go, buddy. There we are. Make sure his little feet don't get caught. So he's in. Just like the tarantulas, seal it off. And again, I like to put them into these rectangular containers. It's just a bit of extra security and peace of mind. Make sure that they don't move around so much. Don't want to upset them and cause any undue stress. It's pretty stressful enough as it is, I'd say, so. Don't need to add to it. So there's the jumping spider, and again, it'll go into a box I got for Bunnings. Secure it in, padding so it doesn't move around, seal it up, it's done. What have I got next? Okay, 
next I've got my large male ruby setter. Well, it's not that large, but anyway. Okay, so he's in his burrow here. Whenever dealing with tarantulas that are of a good size, I always have a spare container just in case they get out so you can just cup it over, put the lid on and retrieve them because they can be quick. All right. I'm not sure how well you can see this here, but I'm concentrating more on the spider than you guys, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to entice him to come out by tapping at his behind. Actually, I think I'm at his front. I just want him to come out. There he is. So I've got a Chinese container full of sphagnum moss there. So I'm going to try to encourage him to go into this. He's back in his hole. Just making sure I have the lid handy of the <laughs> Chinese container. Come on guy, get out, that's it. All right, I want you to come in here. And this is what I mean about having the container handy. <laughs> because they can be fast. Especially if you're not on your game. Clearly like me. Well, how's that for some live action, hey? Spider gives Miss Phantom Fangs a run for her money. It's under here, obviously. Watch your feet. Alright, so here he is. Mr. Ruby Setter. Mr. Houdini. So what I'm going to do now is just put some sphagnum foss in this container and then I'll put this container into the box. If it's going to fit, if not I'll get a bigger one. And then post him off. <coughs> Cheeky boy.